Hi everybody. So, since March is Women's History Month, we're gonna be reading some books that were by famous women or about famous women. The first book we're going to read is called Beyonce, Shine Your Light. Do you know who Beyonce is? I bet you do. So this is a book about Beyonce's life. Do you know what a book about someone's life is called? It's called a biography. So we're gonna read about Beyonce's life. The way a biography usually works is it talks about when the person was very young and as they get older, sometimes it's about their job. So this is gonna be about Beyonce from when she was a little girl up until now. So let's read Beyonce, Shine Your Light by Sarah Warren, illustrated by Geneva Bowers. Now the first page I'm gonna talk about is the dedication. The dedication means that the author or authors or author and illustrator is talking about why they wrote the book and who they wrote the book for. This book is dedicated to you. You are special and spectacular. Show us what you've got. Your voice might feel as green and slight as a curled up sprout. Play, explore, argue, laugh, listen. It's growing. Can you hear it? Speak up. You will make mistakes. That's why we are so interesting. Every failure is a chance to learn something new. Take care of yourself. Need help? Ask. When you are your best, most bodacious self, the universe winks and does a little shimmy. When your dream feels impossible, remember this story. Be brave, persist, work, grow, achieve, dream bigger shine forward sw and gb so that's a message from the author and the illustrator to you so let's let's see what happens beyonce shine your light written by sarah warren and illustrated by geneva bowers oh take a look at her she's a little girl beyonce was quiet a push an empty swing kind of quiet. That's how most of the world saw her. Until one teacher looked closer. She can sing. Do you know she can sing? On stage, Beyonce became a different person. Dazzling, confident, bold. This was where she belonged. Beyonce performed everywhere. No stage? She made her own. Beyonce had a dream. Someday she'd share her gift with the whole world. Oh, do you see how she's getting a little bit older? Beyonce joined a girl group. They worked hard. They shared their dreams. They had each other. They entered a contest. They lost. They learned. They worked harder. Beyonce's family gave it everything they had. Her mother fashioned them into stars, designing, stitching, styling. She also paid the bills. Her father aimed high, coaching, planning, publicizing. It was still Beyonce's dream, but other people decided how to make her dream come true. Beyonce paid attention. She learned. The group performed everywhere. Wherever they went, they made it the biggest show on earth. Best friends begin new adventures. They cheered each other on. Oh, now she's all grown up. Before a show, Beyonce practiced until midnight, until 1 a.m., until 2 a.m., until 3 a.m. She rushed around the world, show after show after show. An award, then another, then another. Beyonce knew how to give audience what they wanted and more, but what did she want? Beyonce stopped. She made time to find the answer. The world was gigantic. 
She was just a speck, inspired, lighthearted, ready. From now on, Beyonce would be in charge of her dream. She made decisions. Her no meant no. Her yes meant everyone gave 100%. She made mistakes. She learned. She grew. She paid the bills. She decided what to sing and how to sing it. When Beyonce got on stage now, she was herself. She could also be anything she dreamed up. So could everyone who sang along. They could be grateful, bountiful, broken, goofy, crazy, regal, jubilant, angry, independent, forgiving, bright, healed, priceless, fierce. The world was her stage. Where could Beyonce shine the spotlight? On new artists, on women, on her hometown in trouble, on the beauty of her people, on the need for justice. Now, Beyonce finds quiet. A drown out the noise, get to know herself kind of quiet. She listens, she keeps dreaming. The end. So, do you see how she changed from the beginning of the book to the end? It talks about what she did, who she was with, her family. So that's what a biography does. It tells you about a real person's life. I hope you liked reading Beyonce, Shine Your Light. I'll see you next time.